Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, we'll cover custom fields, which allow you to add additional information to time entries and customize your workflow. With custom fields, you can track mileage, expenses, add notes, links, custom dropdowns, and much more. Let's start with the basics. To create a custom field, go to the Custom Fields tab in the Workspace Settings and click Create. Let's say you want your team to track expenses on activities. We'll call the field Expenses. Under Description, we'll enter incurred expenses while working, and that will appear as a tooltip when a user hovers over the field. Next, we have to choose the field type. This is the most important thing and it determines how the field will look and behave. Whether it allows input, a yes-no switch or a drop-down. Because expenses should be entered as numbers, we'll choose the number type. Depending on the type, you'll get more settings. Here, you can see what our field will look like. The placeholder is the instruction for the user and it's good as it is. Here, under default value, you can pre-fill a value for all users. Now, because we want our team to enter this themselves, we'll leave it empty. We'll also leave who can edit to everyone so they can all enter the data. And that's it, time to hit create. Once we create the field, we need to activate it by dragging the field to the active column under the visible slot. In case you want to change something, you can expand and edit the field and hit save. Now let's go to the time tracker. As you can see, each entry has our new expense field. We can enter expenses when creating new entries or update previous entries. If you are using the timesheet, you can enter expenses by hovering over the time and clicking options. But what if you wish people to enter expenses only for certain projects? Easy, just go to workspace settings, drag the expenses field down to invisible, go to projects and go to some projects settings. Scroll down and you'll see the expenses field under additional fields. By default, it's not visible, but we can override the visibility for this project by flipping the switch. Now let's go to the time checker. You'll notice that there's no expenses field anymore. But once we select the appropriate project, the field appears. Let's now cover field types. Field type determines what the field will look like and what the users can enter, and you specify it when you first create a field. So far, we've used the number type for expenses, which lets you enter only numbers. There's also the text type, which lets you type anything. The link one lets you enter links to other resources and attachments. When it's filled, it converts to a link, which you can open with a click. Next, we have the switch type, which only takes a simple yes or no value. And finally, there's the select type. This one lets you create custom dropdowns with predefined values. When creating the field, you can specify whether users must choose only one value or select multiple. As you can see, custom fields lets you gather additional data from users. But custom fields also lets you easily add metadata to time entries. Let's say that each project has some ID in your system and that each entry needs to have that information. Instead of bothering your users about the ID, you can create a project ID field. Drag it to invisible, go to a project and enter the ID for this particular project yourself. Then a user tracks time on this project and when you go and export a detailed report in CSV or Excel, you get a separate column with the project IDs. You can also create an integration with another app via Clockify's API, so metadata is automatically added to time entries. Invisible fields are great for integrations with other systems, but you can also use them to create better statistics in pivot tables in Excel. These are just a few ways you can use custom fields. By combining visibility, editability, default value and overrides, you can have any kind of workflow you imagine. Thank you for watching and be sure to check out our other videos as well as like, share and subscribe.